time machine symbol. Um, the green symbol will be like a round clock with an arrow going anti-clockwise around it. And it will be covering the partition that you created earlier. Yeah, um, yeah, guys, this is what you need to do. If you want to separate your files and keep your stuff organized, I uh, definitely recommend this. Yeah, what's up, guys? Um, yeah, so this is the conclusion to installing the Mac OS High Sierra update for the MacBook Pro from Apple. All right, guys, as you can see, just over here, I'll bring you in closer. All right, guys, so I've got the install um, download for uh, the Mac OS High Sierra over here. Um, I've arranged my files on the right hand side. Um, what? Well, if you watched the last video, um, what you should remember is that I backed up all the files um, to the external hard drive, so the WD Elements external hard drive, um, and I partitioned the hard drive so part of it was built uh, purely for Mac and PC. Um, Solely for Mac and PC, and that was under XFAT. They raised the information on the hard drive and reformat it yeah, with XFAT so that it would be able to be used on a Mac and on a PC. Yeah, so that's so that it would be able to be used yeah, on a Mac and a PC because XFAT gives you the option to work on both machines. Um, the other partition was built just purely for the Mac. Um, and that was my time machine backup so that if my machine was to crash in the future or something was to go wrong I could go back in time so to speak back to that point um, on, and the information would be set out exactly as, as I had it at that point of the last backup um, which is definitely useful guys in case you have issues you might have a power cut or something goes wrong and your laptop's damaged for example and then you've got your information saved all right other than that as you can see over here to the left, you've got, it says Mac and PC, it says Time Machine, and that's the partition. But just bear in mind that that's actually one hard drive, but it's split into two. So that's why you're still seeing two um, icons with two different names. All right, guys, I'm going to go for this install. All right, so I'm going to click on Install Mac High Sierra. So it's verify install Mac OS High Sierra. Right, so you should see this message guys saying verifying install Mac OS High Sierra. So basically it's going to try and verify or what it should be doing is making sure that the file is compatible and that it's, it's ready to be um, yeah, run on your machine. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, eject the Mac and PC whilst um, before I press install. All right, so now that I've separated the hard drive from the device, anything that's installed now should be cool. So I'm going to go ahead and install. Alright, so I'm trying to verify install Mac OS High Sierra. Alright, that's what it's doing now. These processes can take a while guys. Remember it's a new it's a new update, so it needs to basically completely update the whole machine. So be patient. Alright guys, we're now at the halfway mark and uh, I'll update you in a moment. Alright guys, as you can see, we're on 7 minutes, 7 minutes, 7 minutes left, 6 minutes. Oh, seven, six minutes. 
But yeah, we're almost there, guys. That's the main thing. Um, yeah. Can't wait to see the finished results. Um, and then once it's done, we'll move on to the next stage of the operation. Yeah. All right, guys, so this is what it should look like. Right, this is what it looks like once it's finished. Um, downloading High Sierra. Okay. So it's like that. All right. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up what it's downloaded first of all, so it's all saved. In case anything goes wrong, I can go back using Time Machine and just reinstall it again. Yeah, so I'm backing up the version of High Sierra that I've just downloaded. Alright. Alright guys, so once I've done the backup to Time Machine, what I'm then going to do is I'm going to also um, copy um, High Sierra um, to my hard drive because remember I've partitioned it I've got part for Macs and PCs and, and I've got part for um, Time Machine so I'm going to also back it up to the Mac and PC which I would have um, used iCloud for that but I'm going to back it up to the hard drive just so it's there protected in case anything goes wrong and I've got a, another copy of it so yeah so I've backed it up twice basically in theory all right so I'm going to go back to applications um once I'm in applications, um, what I'll do then, guys, is, yeah, just back it up and go from there. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through uh, Finder and scroll down to applications. Make it screen a little bit bigger so you can see it. And then basically what I do is I look for High Sierra. Um, I right click on it, copy, then I'll go back down to where it says Mac and PC and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it in here with all my other stuff. Yeah, so I'm going to paste it in. Uh, once I've pasted it in guys, yeah as you can see it's going in there. Um, yeah, once it's pasted in, that's the main thing, it will be in there with the other and files and then it's all saved and backed up so yeah I'm letting it do that once it's done that we'll go on to the next part all right guys so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to eject both hard drives um, as you know these two are one so I'm gonna press eject yeah I'm gonna eject all yeah so not just one I want to eject all Reason why I'm ejecting the hard drives, guys. In this one, okay. So basically, you need to make sure that all the applications are shut down before you do any updates. Yeah, so I'm going to shut Finder and I'm going to go into uh, System. I'm going to go into phone now just to close them. Eject. Alright, so now they've both been ejected, guys. You can proceed. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close everything else in the background. And I'm going to press continue on High Sierra. Alright, yeah, so I've just ejected all the hard drives and uh, make sure there's nothing attached whilst I do the upgrade. So I'm about to go through the terms and conditions. Um, make sure you apply, that it all applies. Once you've done that, guys, um, you understand the terms, you press agree. So yes, I'm going to agree. Uh, I have read and agree to the terms of the software license agreements. You click on agree. Alright, so Mac OS High Sierra will be installed on the disk untitled, untitled, so that's the, hard, the main hard drive on the computer. So we go install. I'm going to just put in my password. 
All right, once you put in the password, guys, it gives you the option. It says, in order to continue installing Mac OS High Sierra, you need to log in as an, as an administrator. Install Mac OS High Sierra is trying to add a new helper tool. So it says add helper tool. So you click on add helper tool. And then it should start. So it says your computer will restart automatically in 27, 26 seconds, etc. Your computer may restart more than once during installation. So yeah, it's going to go through several um, restarts. Um, so just let it go through the process. All right, guys. All right, guys, so it says about 41 minutes remaining. Um, so I'll let that go through its process and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so we've come to the point of data and privacy, yeah? So, guys, you can see, yeah, as you can see, guys, the data and privacy. All right, so what I want to do now is click continue. And you said to set up iCloud, enter the password for my email address. All right, guys, so I'm going to enter the password and move into the next part. All right, guys, so we're going to move on. All right, so setting up account for iCloud. All right, guys, so we've, we're back in. All right, now we're back in, we're gonna test and see what we've got about this Mac. As you can see, guys, we now have Mac OS High Sierra 10.13. All right, guys. Yes, I hope you liked that video. And um, yeah, it was a big, long process. Um, so the main issues, let me summarize. Um, I purchased Serato DJ, um, the pro version, yeah, so the pro version of Serato, um, it was compatible with 10.13 or higher, which in this case was High Sierra, um, so I had the issue there, um, I also realised that 10.14, 10.15, the most up to date um, current um, updates for Apple are a little bit too high. So and and they're not so they're not very compatible with Serato DJ Pro. So I went for the safe option and went for 10.13. So yes, that's why I downloaded High Sierra. Uh, don't forget, guys, I backed up my my files. Um, I use Time Machine and I use iCloud as well and my external hard drive uh, for backing up. And I split the external hard drive uh, into partitions. So I had one for Time Machine. Um, and that was directly for Apple Macs. And the other part was for Macs and PCs in case I used to need to use my PC and, and do transfers, etc. Guys, I hope you liked the video. Remember, if you want the tips, production, yeah, little software issues, um, yeah, hit me up, guys, and I'll let you know uh, oh, what the deal is. Or oh, I'll try to at least, yeah. Guys, right here, this is the channel to be. Tap in for more. Guys, in the next video, um, I'm gonna download Serato DJ Pro and I'm gonna get cracking with some mixes. Remember to come right here for your mixes, for your tunes, yeah, production tips, software issues. Guys, Tommy Tupper, tap in. Alright, guys, as you can see. Um, so I'm about to download um, Serato DJ Pro.